Welcome back to the channel guys and this is a massive update for Godzilla King of the Monsters. There has been an official announcement that we are going to be getting a prequel graphic novel. Now this is canon to the legendary Monsterverse. So this is absolutely canon. This is going to be set before the events of Godzilla King of the Monsters and the synopsis or the press statement that they've revealed is as follows. Godzilla Aftershock is yet another exhilarating entry into the canon of the Monsterverse and it is especially exciting to introduce fans to a brand new original monster unique to the comic but true to the legacy of Godzilla. The brilliant and driven monarch operative Dr. Emma Russell races to stop the threat as clues emerge to reveal a terrible secret, a tragedy of apocalyptic proportions from the distant past that changed the course of human history is returning to threaten it once more. A shadowy figure stalks Emma's every move as she travels the globe to uncover secrets, while Godzilla clashes in an ancient rivalry as old as the earth itself. The fate of the world lies in the balance in an epic confrontation that no Godzilla fan will want to miss. Now on top of that we've also got a poster plus what has leaked on Twitter is actually a trailer which does reveal a rough outline kind of ancient sketching of what this uh, Godzilla monster that he's going to be up against actually looks like which is kind of like a Muto but kind of not. It's really really quite interesting so I'll leave it on the screen now you can kind of see it here but some of this stuff looks absolutely fantastic. So this is set to be after the events of Godzilla which kind of obviously spurred this into action, this creature returning to the surface world and presumably going up against Godzilla in a brand new tale. This is really, really interesting. I'll tell you what I do think with respect to the shadowy figure that is following Dr. Emma Russell. I believe this is probably Charles Dance's eco-terrorist character that we see in Godzilla King of the Monsters, the guy which we've seen in the trailer and the eco-terrorist which are going to be appearing in the film anyway. I believe this is probably going to be tying into that, but of course it's just my speculation. I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this? Are you amped for this? Godzilla King of the Monsters is months away, sadly, but the hype is real. This is probably the best cinematic universe next to Marvel, I would imagine. To me, at the very least, it is. I absolutely love this cinematic universe. It's a, it's a movie universe that has just done everything right, and especially these kind of canon tie-ins that they're doing, the viral marketing, legendary looks like they love this or at least they love money and they just know how to make it this is awesome stuff anyway like i said let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section as always if you are new here please do hit that subscribe button stay up to date on all the world of pop culture and movie news as always i've been mr h i will catch you in the next video